Hi folks, and thank you for joining me for another episode of my easy, delicious meals at home. You can adjust the ingredients for two or three servings. You only need what you see on the screen for this recipe. The first step is to prepare the onion and garlic by peeling and chopping reasonably coarsely. Next, we need a large skillet and place it over medium-high heat. Once the skillet is hot, pour in three tablespoons of olive oil and swirl it around to coat the bottom. Add the prepared onions to the skillet, coat them with the olive oil, and sauté for a minute or two. Then add the garlic you chopped into small pieces and stir them well to coat them with the oil. Let them sauté together for about 4-5 to five minutes, stirring occasionally, until they are fragrant and start to soften. The next step is to lower the heat and let our onions and garlic mixture sauté gently as we prepare our tomatoes. For cooking purposes, tomatoes should be cut into smaller pieces. Additionally, the ends of the chili should be removed, and the chili should be chopped with its seeds. The chili can then be added to the onions and garlic, followed by a half teaspoon of smoked paprika, then stir the ingredients together before adding the chopped tomatoes. A simple way to improve the flavor of your dish is to add some salt and black pepper as per your liking, and also one half teaspoon of white sugar to offset the acidity of the tomatoes. You can also explore other flavor options by using herbs, lemon juice, or vinegar as additional seasonings. To intensify the taste and texture of the sauce, increase the hot temperature to the maximum level and let the tomatoes release their liquid and aroma. For a smoother tomato sauce, lower the hob temperature and let the tomatoes cook over low heat until they break down and release their juices. The cooking time may vary depending on the size and ripeness of the tomatoes, but it should take about 10 to 15 minutes for them to become soft and mushy. The next step is to puree the tomato mixture using a blender. Make sure your blender is clean and ready to use. Carefully pour the tomato mixture from the pan into the blender, filling it no more than halfway. Secure the lid and blend on high speed until the mixture is smooth and uniform. You may need to do this in batches, depending on the size of your blender. Pour the tomato sauce from the blender into the saucepan, and add any remaining sauce by swelling water in the blender and adding it to the saucepan as well. Set the heat to medium and place your saucepan back on the stove, stirring occasionally with a wooden spoon. Watch the sauce carefully and lower the heat if it starts to boil. You want to see small bubbles forming on the surface, but not a rolling boil. Time for the taste test. Oh, that's nice. There's, there's the garlic, the tomato, the onion, and a little bit of piquancy from the chilli absolutely delicious. We'll be adding the prawns shortly. You will need 12 frozen jumbo king prawns, which are also known as shrimp or scampi. They have a sweet and succulent flavor. You can buy them already peeled and deveined, or you can do it yourself. There's no need to thaw them first, just place them in the tomato sauce and bring to a low simmer over medium-high heat for 8 minutes. Your spaghetti needs to cook in boiling water for around 8 to 9 minutes until it is al dente. To do this, fill a large saucepan with water and bring it to a boil, over a high heat. Add a large pinch of salt in the water, and stir it occasionally to prevent it from sticking together. The cooking time may vary depending on the type and thickness of the spaghetti, so check the package instructions or taste it to see if it is done. Once it is cooked, drain and serve. The cooking time for the spaghetti and the prawns is approximately the same, around 8 minutes. Therefore, you can prepare them simultaneously, and they will be done at the same time. Make sure to drain the spaghetti well. Your spaghetti, prawns, and tomato sauce is ready to be served. This dish is a classic combination of flavors and textures to delight your guests. The spaghetti is cooked al dente, the prawns are succulent and juicy, and the tomato sauce is rich and aromatic. This is a simple and delicious recipe that you can prepare for yourself in no time at all. I hope you enjoy cooking this meal for yourself, 
you'll not be disappointed. Try spaghetti and the sauce. Oh, this is hot. Guys, what can I say? The sauce is light, it's fresh. I can taste the garlic, I can taste the, the chilli. Just, just enough piquancy to give it a bit of zing. This is absolutely fabulous. Now let's try one of the prawns. They're cooked. They're flavorful. And they do the sauce justice. Absolutely lovely. Guys, I've got to recommend this. It can't be better. You just can't better it. It's fantastic. I'm going to have some more. This is my tea. It's a little bit al dente. That's just how I like it.